Phoenix Taxis are proud to bring you Driver, the new taxi booking app that's taking Europe by storm. You can book a cab in advance or for right away, and with credit or debit card payment and the ability to track your taxi live, it's the new and convenient way to travel with Northumberland's greenest and cleanest taxi firm. Download the app today by searching for Driver and enter Phoenix in the voucher section for £10 off your first booking. Go green, go Phoenix. Bly Spartans were in the North West on Tuesday night as they faced a much fancied Salford City side. Tom Wade made a number of changes from Saturday's thrilling 4 3 win over Stamford at Croft Park and he named the following start in 11. In goal, there was a debut for German goalkeeper Fabian Otter and at right back was another debutante, former Sunderland youngster Andrew Cartwright. At left back was another former Black Cats Academy man in Jordan Watson and at the heart of the Spartans' defence was Dylan Morse and he was partnered by Ryan Hutchinson. Wade chose the name of three-man midfield and that was anchored by number six Stephen Turnbull and wearing ten alongside Turnbull was Matthew Wade. At the front of the trio on midfield was Michael Richardson and the right-hand side pushed forward from his usual right-back position was Alex Nicholson. On the left-hand side was captain Robbie Dale and up front was striker Dan McGuire looking to add to his tally of goals for the season. On the bench for Spartans was winger Aaron Wearmouth Damon Mullen providing defensive cover was Danny Parker and then there was a midfield duo of Neil Hooks and former West Allotman Celtic man Sean Reid. Alongside the subs on the bench were the Spartans coaching team of head coach Lee Picton and manager Tom Wade who urged his side to try and cut out the silly goals after conceding three very soft goals against Stamford on Saturday. The Spartans 1-11 and the subs as we've just been through and as mentioned they would start with the usual 4-2-3-1 formation with Richardson for providing key support from midfield to the three front men. Salford had been through a number of changes and of course are owned by the class of 92 and they included former Red Devils youngster Danny Webber in the front line. Commentary is provided by Radio Northumberland's Ryan Gray and Phil Castio. Enjoy the highlights. Players are now out on the field, so we will go through the team. Uh, Jay Lynch for Salford, number one. Uh, Dominic Smalley, Stephen O'Halloran, Gary Stopworth, Steve Howson, Chris Lynch, the captain, Joe Mwasile, Scott Burton, Danny Weber, Luke Clark, and Jordan Hume. And Spartans with Fabian Otte instead of um, Adam McHugh, who's been a mainstay so far for the Green Army. And then the back four of Left back Jordan Watson, centre back pairing again of Dylan Morse and Ryan Hutchinson. But uh, a new face on the right in Andrew Cartwright making his Spartans debut. Uh, midfield of Stephen Turnbull and uh, Matthew Wade. In front of them, they'll have Richardson in the middle, then Robbie Dale on the wing. Alex Nicholson on the other side instead of Aaron Wearmouth. And Danny Maguire up top. Hume coming over to the left hand side, finds O'Halloran who's made his way forward. Hume cutting in field. He's found stop fourth, who's hit it straight at Otte and it uh, ricocheted out of his gloves, but he did well to recover there, Fabian Otte. His first, uh, first shot on goal, on target, even in this game, and uh, came from midfielder Gary Stopforth straight at Fabian Otte. Spartans patiently attacking here. Back to Turnbull on the edge of the area. Chance for the strike, and he's hit it, and oh. then spilled, oh. and Maguire. All he had to do was get that on target, but it was just behind him. And he couldn't steer it in the way of Jay Lynch's goal. It seems to be fine now, Christopher Lynch. Yeah, it was a great tackle though, wasn't it? Because uh, it did look like tackle. he was in. He just getting inside the area there, and it could have been fatal for uh, Salford. Whipped in here by Turnbull towards the back post. And there's Wade, and it falls to Hutchinson. Oh. And here's Dale, and it's bounced to the back post. And there's the oh. overhead kick there from Danny Maguire. Just couldn't get it on target. Good improvised effort from Maguire, but uh, just wide of the goal. What? Free kick. It will be taken here 
by Luke Clark, the Liverpudlian midfielder. Start out with Everton Youth. And will be he to take this free kick. And he's gone straight at Otte. I don't think he saw it until late and he's palmed it wide. But uh, he did get good direction on that, the German goalkeeper, because there was a crowd of players in front of him. Watson taking it down and then clipping it over a couple of heads in the path of Matthew Wade. But Smalley was there to pick it up. Smalley's crossfield ball was pounced upon, though, by Cartwright. And he's played it forward for Richard uh, Nicholson. Nicholson in field to Richardson. Richardson getting away from one. He's got the strike straight at the goalkeeper. And Jay Lynch will be relieved. But that one was a, as easy a task as it was. Turnbull looking for a bit of movement, but everyone's static around him. Ball back now with Hutchinson. Nice pass under pressure over to the right-hand side. But Cartwright flicks the header on. And that is a terrible challenge on Cartwright. And... Uh, that's as late as they come. Oh, that's just dangerous. That was a, a really reckless nice. challenge. And I think that will be another booking. It's got to be a booking for O'Halloran. It's red. a red card. It's, it's red. a second yellow yeah. of the game. Yeah. You can't complain without being a yellow card. Turnbull anxious to get that one across to the right-hand side to Cartwright. Cartwright forward to Weirmouth. Weirmouth back to Hooks. Spartans have got five men inside their own half with the ball moving now into... The feet of Robbie Dale on the right-hand side. Lovely ball forward is Sean Reed taking it down in the penalty area. Back to Cartwright. Cartwright moving forward. He's whipped that one in. And there's the header! And it's oh, off the post! Almost. And the strike from Wim! And we're in to the last minute of stoppage time here at Salford. Oh. A volley from Aaron Wearmouth. It's the shot from Maguire. Ricochets off the post right at his feet. He's lashed it home wow. from six yards out. And what an end here at Salford. Swans so well. 1, Salford 0. Well, i just got to hold on now. Just, just got hold to on. hold on. And Tom Way did say in his uh, post-game interview with Stamford, they've got to stop conceding silly goals. Headed away there by Hutchinson and Weirmouth there giving chase. Trying to prevent this ball going into the penalty area. Here's Christopher Lynch forced back by Maguire. Everyone's back now pitching in with defence. And there Diggle. goes the full-time whistle. Well and done, that well is done, a well-earned three points for Blythe Spartans here today. So Aaron Weirmouth's late goal secured the points for Spartans. And he spoke to BSFC TV after the game to give his thoughts on the match and his late goal. Right, Aaron, a, a late goal and a, a great goal for yourself. Oh, it's been a, um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I was getting a bit of stick on the bus on the way down off the lads, uh, so I've put a few critics to bed there. I told them uh, if I kept kept shutting my eyes and swinging my left one, would go in and look what he does. How, how did it feel when the ball hit the net as well? Uh, relief more than anything. Uh, after a tough season last year, I didn't score last year, uh, so I was pleased pleased when it went in, and obviously for the points as well, it was massively. You've obviously, you know, started the season pretty well in a lot of people's eyes, and you've got to be happy with how the season's going. Yeah, I am. Obviously, I'm, I've, I've always, I'm always confident. If I'm, if I'm playing games, I'll get my confidence back, and that's when I start playing well. Uh, and obviously, I've had, a, I've had a run of games, and that's when, that's when you get the best out of us. And Darling won again tonight, but obviously, Spartans stay top of the league. Do you looking at the league table at the moment, or is it just a case of just keep winning? Not too much. It is. It's still early doors, and obviously, you know, you start looking at the league table after you know. To, 10, 15 games, see what, see where everyone's at then. Um, but obviously, it's, it's still good to be sitting top of the league. Uh, obviously, it's just the head of the as well.